Hey folks, welcome. We're in a coastal village here in Scotland called Pitten Weem. I've never been here before and I'm really excited to be here, I have to say, as soon as I got here. I've driven through many times but uh, never stopped to come and have a look. Further up the road there is Crail and we've done a video before where we walked from Crail to Anstruva and that was heading this way. Anstruva's just, just up there, it's not that far away. Today we're going to be walking down this way, uh, Pitten Weem to a place called Ely, I, I hope so, or well, certainly up to St Monin's anyway, we'll see how far it is and how we go. We'll do some lunch on the way which is some sea bass, some crushed potatoes with some sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, what a beautiful day. It's one degrees when I was driving here but it's going to warm up. Sun shining, no wind and it is absolutely stunning down here. Very quiet as well, very calm, very nice. I really, already have only just arrived and I'm, I'm enjoying this one so Yeah, I'll take the opportunity, thank you for joining me, and I think we'll get walking along. Cheers. Okay, well we've, we've left, we've left Pit and Ween not that long ago, only 10 minutes and I can already see St Monin's ahead of me here so that's not going to take too long to get to and I can see there's some old style windmill there so we'll have a look at that but we'll continue past that then I think we'll get to Ely and we'll try and find a, a spot to cook lunch absolutely stunning bit of coastline though I've got to say and it's nice to see the boat out uh, either fishing or catching crab or lobster, I'm not too sure, but yeah, oh, it's absolutely amazing, what a day. Well, here's me thinking this was some kind of uh, dwelling, <laughs> old dwelling, but they're actually salt pans. Uh, it says the pan houses. Okay, this is St. Monin's. We're on the Fife Coastal Path, so we're just going to pass right through. Keep heading on to Ely, I think. But I do love these kind of streets. This is a uh, Reminds me a lot of Anstruva actually when I arrived there, sort of arrived and came down the narrow wee street. Nice.
that's a great view. We've got St. Monans and then we've got Pit and Weem further back there. Okay, I found a wee spot to stop and do my lunch. Wait till you see my view that way. Using the firebox today, I've got a cast iron round pan that I'm going to cook the fish in. I have forgot my plate, so I'm just going to have to eat it off that. I had this whole presentation thing I wanted to do, but not today. So, this is a good place. I mean, really nice. I'm not using the damper door on here. I don't need to. There's no wind today. Uh, but what a stunning place this is to cook. <laughs> That's pretty much done. Lost me uh, skin a wee bit there. Never mind. Okay, that's done. Just going to put that aside for a minute. Shame about that skin. I'm going to do a coffee now. Should do it. Very nice. Leave that there. Okay, let's have a look at this fish. Okay, this is the it's new potatoes with uh, sun-dried tomatoes in there. So there was some oil in that tomato, uh, peppers as well. The sea bass with the skin gone a little bit bad, I'm afraid. A little bit of tartar sauce, that'll do for now actually, or just a little bit more, there we go. And we've got some lemon, squeeze that on there, nice. So let's try it, oh flaky, mm. <laughs> that's nice, I forgot my plate. And I forgot the salt. Never mind. Mmm. That is gorgeous.
presentation wise this didn't quite work out how I had it planned but it is really tasty nice sea bass there a little bit of a shame about the skin but very nice tartar sauce lemons new potatoes are boiled last night on the rocket stove and then uh, I've added some sun-dried tomatoes and the peppers oil in that as well has got into that potato it's really nice mm. Such a nice combination. Right, the water's boiled. I've used the firebox today because I like that cup holder there. It really works so well. And as well, the handles of this metal mug don't get hot. Coffee for energy. Is that Kenko? Nice. So the firebox is weighty, but I had no hesitation in bringing it out today. It's really easy to use. It's a solid piece of kit. I mean, basically, I'm carrying around pure quality here, so. Uh, it's easy to put up, easy to put away. That's it. These are all the accessories. So today I was able to use that for my my cupper. I think it's great. If I was only going to have one twig stove or even one stove. Apart from the Echo Zoom, I wouldn't put that in this category anyway. This is a sort of a, a category of its own. Um, it would definitely be this. Brilliant. Really enjoying this coffee. That lunch was absolutely amazing, I have to say. Uh, I like to eat the fish down by the coast, so that made sense gonna continue now a bit behind time schedule doesn't matter <laughs> I don't mind taking my time here Well, what an absolutely beautiful day and a beautiful walk. This whole coastline is simply stunning and I just can't stop filming. There's so much, I didn't expect it to be so much to film. So I'm fully aware this is going to be quite a long video. How can I not keep filming though? It's just so nice everywhere I turn. So we've been to Pit and Weem, St. Monin's, and then I've done lunch and heading out to Ely. People out here, there's all this kayakers, jet skiers, uh, boats, fishing boats, there's the Ida ducks, there's the, the herons, cormorants, there's all sorts out here. In fact, I've been out on the water before, I took a boat with my wife out to the Isle of May, which is actually just over here, you can't see it. And it's a bird breeding colony type of island. Uh, wow, man, it was amazing. And on the island was puffins. I love puffins, it's, I, you know, it's the only place I've ever seen them. I took loads of photos, so I'm just going to put a few up there. Nice wee colourful birds, I think they're, they're full of character, they really are. So, yeah, I'd love to head back out there one day, that's for sure. So, as I say, the whole coastline's stunning, uh, you know, from Crail right through to this point here. Um, do check out the Crail to 
answer of a video, I'll put a link to that at the end. Um, that was a fantastic walk for me, I really love that. And this has been of equal measure, fully, fully love this day, really been brilliant. And lunch was fantastic too. Okay folks, we've got to our destination. What an amazing walk this has been. This particular stretch of the coastline is fantastic. So we'll have a look there and then I'm just going to meander back along the coast and get back to Pit and Weem and just have a, a real decent look around there. A far, far longer walk than what I thought, which is great. Okay, I'm fully aware of you know shot after shot after shot of a village. It's, it's, you know, there, there's so many nice buildings here. It's such a nice place. I could film for hours, but there's no point. So, I'm just going to have a little look around, and then I'll head back. Uh, it, it's too big a place for me to, to put into this video anyway. I'm going to have to come back. Plenty of places to park up, bring the wife here, take a look around. But fantastic, it really is. Love wee places like this. Well this is great, I'm just about back to St Monin's there and as you can see it's, it's uh, what we, I think it's called a ha or something like this and it's like a mist that comes in off the sea and with that comes a coolness, it's very very refreshing, much needed actually I have to say, yeah fantastic. Okay folks, I'm going to conclude my journey here. I have had a great day. What a distance I've walked. I didn't realise it was so far. I thought I'd be back here hours ago actually. <laughs> but we are getting late, well, into the evening now anyway. So, But I'm not going to complain, it's been fantastic. Um, this has been the complete opposite of the Crail to Anstruver video where I had the mist in the morning and it lifted and instead it's come in through the afternoon. But that, uh, it's really nice on the skin, it's nice and cool. So I've needed that, I'll be honest. So uh, part of the reason why I do a video like this is for my mum and dad. Hello, they're in New Zealand and I'm here in Scotland. And we just never get to see each other. So uh, this is one way to sort of stay connected as such. And it's nice for them to see various places around where I live. So I'm going to, uh, I think, take a little look around shortly and then uh, just for a short while. And then I'm going to head home and go to bed. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.
Well, I thought I'd come for one last look down the harbour here. It's really big and there's so many houses and it's just so quiet, apart from the seagulls. <laughs> it's so quiet, so peaceful, so nice. Gotta go home. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Cheers.